Hi, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me for day eight of the Crafty Organization Challenge. Um, if you haven't been with me before, I have videos for days one through seven on my channel if you want to check those out. Basically, um, I am doing a 29 day challenge to get my craft room cleaned up. And so if you want to follow me on Instagram, that is Jen Lee Schoolcraft. And if you would like to post pictures of your crafty space and how you organize your stuff, um, use the hashtag, hashtag crafty ORG challenge. Um, so here are the before pictures and video. And this is on the other side of my craft room. So last week I did the opposite side. So this is the northeast side and last week I did the northwest side so here's a little um, hutch under my desk and it's really convenient having that there because um, I reach for a lot of that stuff like my paper trimmer and things um, and then these cabinets it's just uh, basically stuff I don't use really um, I've got my big dies in there and those little square um, Sizzix alphabets, like in all kind of different fonts, are in a binder in there. Um, and then this is the area that's the right, to the right of my craft desk. So this is like a dumping ground. A lot of times when I'm moving stuff out of the way or I'm done with something, it just gets stacked right there. And so that's basically what I'm doing today. The cabinet under my desk, um, this area, and then the shelves that are above. Um, and I already did the this area and it's remained clean so far. So I did that last week, I believe on day one. Um, and then today I'm gonna be cleaning off these shelves, which is just some tools and miscellaneous and my paper flowers. And then on that top shelf, um, <laughs> I'm kind of, <laughs> uh, wait until you see what I found. I was kind of surprised. Uh, so there was a couple of containers on the very top shelf and I took them down. And one of them is this container that has uh, all my silhouette tools in it. So I'm just going to put that over by where my silhouette is, which is on the very top shelf on the other side. And then I found this other container, which is a close to my heart. It's a, like a distress kit. So it has distress tools in it. Um, so this was on the very top. I totally forgot it was there and so I did actually move this to underneath the cabinet so I can f totally forget that it's there again <laughs> but not ready to get rid of and then this I could not believe I opened this up and I was like seriously I have more glue so I completely cleaned this container out I did put a couple in the distash and I kept a couple of glues um, but that <laughs> Yeah, so here's my before the my how I store my flowers. They were just all kind of jumbled in a basket. And then after for the entire space, um, I just cleaned up the floor, swept it up. The cabinet, I pretty much just organized, uh, tidied it up a little bit. There, it wasn't really messy underneath. And then I cleaned off the top. And then as you can see, there's a lot of empty space now on those two shelves, which I'm sure I could find something to fill that space up. So for the cabinet, I have this little plastic file folder thing that I store all of my user manuals in, and then just some housekeeping tools, and then I have some big style, I don't know what these are called, they're the big Sizzix dies, and then I have two binders that are full of those little thin Sizzix alphabets that in every font imaginable. Don't know why I keep those, but so here on the right side is all of my shimmer powders and things like that, which I absolutely love. So they're right there by me. And then my uncle markers are just st stored in this old um, cabinet that I've had for quite a while. I just took the little drawers out and used the empty space for my markers. And then right by me here are my, um, mainly my white paper. So the different white paper that I have I store in these little plastic pockets. And then just stuff I reach for all the time, my lovely scissors that I can't bear to get part with either, but I still use them, so. So here's basically um, my paper. I have some scrap paper, and then all my colored paper is stored in those same plastic pockets. Um, I really love them, they're super cheap and um, just a great way for me to store because then I could put my scraps in there as well. And then here's all the tools that's right underneath my work surface. Super convenient to have that all there. So here's the after for my florals. I took that fridge bin that I uh, was using last week and repurposed it for my flowers. And then on my loose flowers, I put in this um, 
glass container. Um, and that's pretty much it uh, for the giveaway. It's not a whole lot for this day today <laughs> for day eight. Um, so basically the giveaway for day eight is going to be um, these three glues. So these have not been opened. I shook them or actually the square one, I think I probably did open, but the other one still has a plastic wrap on the top. So those three glues and then these Sizzix um, big dies and then there's those long strips. I don't even think they make dies like that anymore. This one is a Tim Holtz, it looks like. Um, and then the others are just Sizzix dies. One is a train. One is like, look like some buttons in different shapes and then an alpha. And then I have a bunch of flowers. I actually have this little baggie of just miscellaneous stuff because I needed, I, I had this in that jar that I put the flowers in. So I had to kind of clean that out before I could put the flowers in that. And some of the flowers are in unopened packages, not used. Some of the flowers have missing items or are loose. Um, but like I mentioned last week, if you are the giveaway winner and you, is there anything in the giveaway package that you don't want, um, just let me know and I will remove that before I send out the package. Um, so the giveaway rules are the same as they were in week one. Um, just follow this channel, leave a comment below, follow me on Instagram at Jen Lee Schoolcraft. Um, full details of the giveaway can be found in the Google Doc linked below. That Google Doc is also your entry for YouTube. Um, so that is your giveaway entry for YouTube, uh, filling out that doc. I'll, all I ask is your first name and your email address so that I can contact you if you are the winner. Um, and then if you leave a comment on Instagram, that is also an entry into the giveaway. So there's a possibility of two entries per day for the giveaway, which would be a total of 14 entries if you did every day to two um, comments would be 14 entries for the entire week that your name would be entered into the giveaway. But that is it for me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.